Ladies and gentlemen, this is Deciders. Remember that if the players want to keep going in this Warlords first edition $30,000 prize pool, they have to win this game. Otherwise, they are out. They are out. And as Vincent was talking, Britons better than Gurjaras? Oh man, the game is loading to me. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are with game number one acc amazon blue britons on the left doubt the lord gurjaras on the right and vinchester why do you prefer britons here why you prefer britons uh because i think gurjaras is kind of slow right you need to get to the castleage you need a lot of uh, maybe gold unit in castleage i think just britons they must be faster at some point if you'll play it properly then you just don't give it time to gurjaras i think that's the reason here do you think a, a 1TC uh, strategy for the start for Gujaras could be a good choice? I'm full rider, yeah. for example? Yeah, I think you don't need to play a macro game against Britons as Gurjaris because, and even on Gold Rush, right? There is a lot of gold in the middle. You cannot really recover without gold against uh, such civilization like Britain, I think. So, yeah, definitely for that, I would go for some aggressive stuff and just be sure that you won't lose the army numbers in order stage. Um, Vincister, Doubt is even taking one of the ships. That's uh, a little bit surprising, though. Oh. No? Wow. I mean, well, it seems like he just wants to ignore it, right? Oh, and he will maybe lose the villager. Oh, oh. maybe not. Maybe <laughs> not, amigo. Maybe not. Ay, ay, ay. Well, a little bit shaky this start for Doubt. This is this happened because it's the first game, because it's a, a real decided game. Why these kind of things can happen to a pro player, Mr. Winchester? Well, I mean, this is kind of looks like same like me. You just start the first game, maybe it's nerf or, nerves or something. Maybe he didn't warm up well. So, I mean, the start is just terrible for him, right? He already took one sheep, almost lost the villager. I think it's just not the best start for him. Yeah, well, he still need to take four ships. Two that he didn't even explore. The other two, they are at the back and he might take it. And blue is coming. Oh man, okay, Doubt, Doubt is gonna find those two, but ACCM is very close. So, if he's not paying attention, he might lose them. Look at those. He oh, might yeah, lose them. Oh yeah, that's really unfortunate. Yeah, and ACCM can fight for the ship at least, it will win him oh, a lot a of time. Oh, there's a camel. No, 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 in Dark Age, the oh, scout true. There's no bonus. Stronger. There's no yeah, bonus, yeah. it's true. There oh, is God. more HP, less attack, oh, but man. I Oh, and he will just kill the ship. Oh, that's really good for ACCM. Well, but this is Doubt's fault. I mean, he's mm -hmm. he's not uh, he's not taking the ships. I mean, it's four minutes. It's four minutes, and he was trying to push the DS with Gurjaras. What you have to do earlier is take the ships. And right now, instead of eight, he got five. So already, this bonus from Gurjaras is kind of nerf almost fifty percent. Yeah, I suppose it's really bad. And I mean, it was even um, nerfed before, right? So then yeah. more ship and lower food. So maybe it's not a big deal, actually. I mean, the only free ship. Well, uh, I don't know. I'm not so experienced player with Gurjaras, but I think uh, it still will depend on other type of things in this game. But it's kind of sloppy by Doubt to play the Dark Age like that. Yeah, anyway, Doubt has already 19 population. He's going up very, very quick. He's pushing the deers, not exploring anything. He's just being a little bit greedy. So he doesn't know if his opponent is going to come with malicious or forward. anything. Forward. And he's going forward, ACCM. Did you expect this? No, no, I, I definitely didn't expect this on Gold Rush because it's always kind of hard to go and woodlands usually on the sides or on the back. And uh, I don't like the idea that ACCM is still there with his scout because Gorgiaris is one of the civilization who usually wants to up early. And yeah, right now ACCM leaving the base, but I think that was a doubt Paul as well. He just needed to chase the enemy scout because the speed is kind of equal. And once he hit the Feudal Age, he would just destroy the scout right with this camel. So I think that was slow, sloppy play by doubt and a little bit greedy with looting this one more tier. Okay, let's see because now this table is happening. He's just building the barrack now, ACCM, who is uh, doing a definitely not conventional strategy. And this is terrible, in my opinion, because with the barrack forward, he might have doubt he's sending two, three scouts fast, and then the spears has to w walk all the map, Winchester. Yeah, exactly. But uh, ACCM is walling right now. This is kind of. 
uh, when I was even on lower rankings, I was always hate when players go for forward and wall on the base. I thought that this is kind of imbalanced because <laughs> you're yeah. wallet on the base and you're on forward, and this is probably what ACC will try to get here. Okay, well, but still, uh, do you need to, when you go forward like this, Winchester, you know better, obviously, and that's why I'm going to ask you, like, do you need to make the damage because obviously you have Thrivilis not working the whole game? Well, uh, at some point, yes, but the other point can be just has the map control, right? So if he will have, uh, if he has some towers there, close to the enemy base, has the setup, and even if he'll be a little bit behind, but it's not gonna, um, like, snowball you, then you'll be fine, I mean, even without those reveals. So okay. sometimes position is uh, important as well. Okay, he's doing the tower. As you can see, Doubt is not reacting to that tower. Why? Well, he has a stone and goal at the back. It's fine. I think he should do a tower on that mail. I don't know what you think. Uh, again, I mean, it's kind of scary to just go super deep because just in case if you take the bad fight, you lose not even army, but also the forward villagers. So that's uh, like the first tower. It's more for the setup for the later stage. So ACCM just don't want to let Doubt a free game here. He will need to react somehow. And ACCM thinks that just later his army composition will be just better so he will have no, no, but I was, I was meaning i was meaning winchester a tower for doubt like doubt ah. doing a tower in that area so then doubt is completely fine if he's doing well, a tower don't... there in I, front usually... of the mid yeah, against the forward, you don't really want to rush your tower because yeah, uh, yeah it's better ah. to see where he will attack first and then to build yours. That's kind of the same mistake like I did in my uh, yesterday game on Peruins. I just built my tower and Nico just went around and built a better tower. So that's so the case you, here. So what you're talking is that, I mean, when you're watching, it's much easier to take the decision, right? When oh, playing, yeah, and that's for when sure. When you're playing, yeah. aye, aye, aye. Well, the tower is now, thanks to what you were talking here, is doing a good tower here. And now mm. the, the arches are going to go down. The scouts, Doubt is sending forward and it still didn't wall, but he has already two spears at home. Two spears at home, economy not the greatest for for accm right now yeah yeah but let's see the recap so he's only one villager behind right now he'll take the stone and right now has a lot of vision on enemy base so he won't be surprised by anything right now he can probably make a little damage he's wallet at home and he has the setup so once it gets closer to castle age he can continue to build towers because thou don't have the stone right so i think it's in general not that bad for accm well, Doubt is gonna clean everything. I mean, Doubt is having a, 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 a very smooth game here with a good economy. It's taking a lot. Look at the KD. He's taking all the units. Winchester mm -hmm. with those scouts is killing all, and his echo is looking smooth right now. The Lord doing now more and more farmers walling, only with a stable, not panicking, not even doing an archie range, not mining even gold or stone. He's just full focus on his own economy. Yeah, and, and I think that, that's really sloppy from ACCM because his wallet at home, so he don't really force to keep two scouts at home, right? So he's fine if Doubt will go to his base and raid him. So he don't really need to focus that much on building... Oh, and he will lose under the tower archers. Oh, oh yeah, man. he's wa wasting unit for nothing. I mean, that's what I wanted to mention. That he don't really need he don't really need it to move there with this army, right? That he lost before. He could just, I don't know, chill a little bit. Get more army and then just try to punish doubt that he's not building the range. But right now it's just not the case. Okay, look at those spears there on the AZCM base. He's gonna try to kill them. Mm -hmm. What is doubt doing? I mean, the scouts are chasing the spears. This is the, the, yeah, the, the and world. spears is running. What the okay, <laughs> the spears running. The world are completely in bears, you know? What the hell? Anyway, he's doing now the blast bit. Do you think doubt is gonna make the fletching just for that tower to be able to reach it, the, the, the stone miners and the other tower as well? Mm, I don't know, he's on gold as well. I think he's aiming for Castle Age. And this tower from ACCM is terrible. This is in the range of TC. So maybe the this tower could be like uh, with fletching in the range of the uh, Doubt Tower. Or even better to build this tower in the same um, range like this one. And once you get the fletching, we can hit the repair villagers. I think that could be the perfect situation for ACCM. But this tower okay. is just do nothing there. I mean, he didn't even cancel any farm, right? Maybe only two, but... No, no, no. Did he cancel? Know. He didn't cancel any farm. He didn't build any farm there in front, you know. Mm -hmm. Of course, he doesn't want to put villages on the TC because right now he preferred to keep working since the tower is just uh, attacking the town center. That would feel fine. I mean, the scores say that ACCM is ahead, but that's because of desperation. Yeah, it's yeah. about scouting, yeah. No, mm -hmm. It's the scouting. It's definitely the scouting. Otherwise, uh, Doubt has a good economy, two villages more. His echo is going really, really well. 
And uh, do you think he should mine his stone also doubt? Like, uh, uh, he cannot find ah, oh, he has the stone yeah, on the back. He has the wow, back. I didn't even realize. I mean, his map yeah. is amazing, then. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think doubt it's uh, the only bad thing for him that he's kind of lack of double BRX. This is bad, but oh. uh, horse color is good, so he will get his wood once he hit the castle. So there will be some wood saved from the farms. But uh, I mean, this is really bad in general for ACCM because when you play with range, you really want to force the enemy to build range as early as possible. So the gaming here is more about how late uh, the Gorgias player will build his range. But it's even worked for Doubt. So even against the forward, he didn't build his archer range, and this is really amazing for him because he uh -oh. didn't. Oh, he's going in. He's diving. He's diving in. He's diving in. That's not good because the yeah. goal need to make another gate, another gate, another gate, there, another gate on the uh, right. Ah, oh, come on, make a gate through the TC. Why can't he make another? Gate? Well, didn't I think he has no wood? Ah, uh, yeah, totally. probably actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was building a, a a mining camp now, but the scouts are in and Doubt is being a little bit greedy. He built the mining, but why you build the mining camp? Yeah, these kind of situations are kind of awkward. Definitely really, really awkward. Because now he's gonna make four he's doing four units. Should then he make scale bar than armor or I mean Yeah, I think armor is better here. And he has only one stable. I don't like yeah, this lumber camp, second lumber camp is a mistake for sure. He didn't need to build it. He needs second stable and uh, he already could almost finish it. So that was a mistake by him for sure. And okay. armor better for sure. Yeah, that do, I mean but players do a lot of mistakes, right? Well, it's difficult. They are not playing a standard, and you can notice uh, that in important games, Winchester, when the game is not a conventional one, it's completely different. It's mm -hmm. really completely different for, for everyone, you know, for pretty much everyone. And now, let's see, one, two, three towers for, for ACCM. Doubt already with those scouts, plus one, and now with the tower, he's gonna lose the archers, okay. He's taking those archers, finally is in, he's going with the riders. What is the next now? Because he has no goal. What he should do doubt here? Siege workshop and try to kill all this because you don't want to fight against this uh, now in Castleage. Oh, and one uh, Shuramasha rider no, is he, uh, he can delete the palisade, but he's not deleting the palisade. Uh, ah, no. this is his palisade. Yeah, aye, yeah. Aye, aye. It's his own palisade. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Okay, he's losing towers, he's not on stone because of this raid, and you can see, yeah, this is kind of a messy game, and ACCM did really amazing job with going in, I mean, he made a lot of mess in doubt eco, and finally caused the damage on his base. And he's a castle right now, I think Monastery should be built, and uh, I'm not sure that the Siege Workshop will be a right call on ACCM going inside right now. That's yeah, really cool, and... Yeah, but, but he doesn't know if he did something, if he has a TC, or he got, I don't know, but doubt is not reacting, doubt is not building anything. Right now, he's gonna make a house. He has some more riders. Okay. Well, but again, spikes and archers. Now the siege workshop is slow reaction by doubt. Uh, those riders are not enough. Need to be careful. Also, no, no plus one. He's trying to kill now villiers, but okay, he's taking a villier here. But siege workshop could be done before few scorpions. Now he's doing a tone center in this area. He has to go with Damn. more villages. Aye, aye, aye. Need to wall, need to wall, need to wall. He's walling, but he's in time or not? Ah, those riders are so strong. Ah, he's losing well. a lot too. He's losing a lot too, ACCM. Losing a lot. And now the riders are going to take over all this. The score is still say that ACCM is a lot ahead, but then you check the villages and exactly the same and now doing a second tone center. Yeah, well, I'll be a bad guy here, but I really want to say that both players made a lot of mistakes. Like ACCM lost the pikes under the TC, that should never happen, he didn't control it well. I think Doubt needed to queue up the Scorpion, because if ACCM control better, then Doubt would just lose a lot of wills, so he needed the Scorpion, because it's faster and cheaper. And uh, yeah, Siege Workshop earlier, because at some point he had 700 wood, and I don't like the fact that ACCM didn't build the Monastery yet, because I think the Monastery is super good against Shrivam. The fact is that he's doing knights, and now those knights, if he's doing a camel, and then Doubt is doing the monastery, he's gonna be in a better position, taking the villains here. Well, uh, Doubt is playing better now. Yeah, I think, yeah, in defensive style, he do much better, and he has the bow so already. The only good thing that ACCM can try to uh, to make the boom, and this is what I said before, that with forward sometimes, you just want to have the map control, and if your enemy is not cleaning you up, then with this map control, at some point, Doubt will be out of gold, out of space, he will be on vision, he cannot switch into some kind of units without 
ACCM know that, so I don't like the idea of your TC. I think he needs to play aggressively more right now. And by the way, there was another mistake because ACCM has still four crossbows sitting inside the tower, and if he would bring them before it, then he would just win the game there, right? Because they were all this maybe, fight. Maybe the tower. he just, with how the game is going, it just really looks like he forgot about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, it seems like. But he took he villager really... outside this tower, so he, in general, he must know that yeah, there is something. Yeah, and okay. Siege Workshop ooh, mm, to push or what the idea? Because I think it's Doubt the one who must push right now. So I'm not sure about Siege Workshop. I think Monastery could be better here. Well, I don't know, but it's still wasting quite a lot of units. And now the Riders are coming. Doubt has two, two units only, but he's still booming better than his opponent. He's going to try to mm -hmm. kill that one. There is the towers. He should take those towers for sure. The next step, what is the next step? here for doubt so go for a castle in, in in the middle castle at home try to kill those towers because uh, we know how britons uh, dangerous can be britons cheaper tone centers than the crazy range they have but we have seen how the raiders are working really well and now he's losing army against the tc accm is wasting huge amount of army during this game mm. Out. Yeah, this is terrible. I mean, KD and Doubt playing with only night play. And I like the idea that Doubt was in the middle with some villagers. And I like the fact that ACCM is checked for those wills. I mean, he lost. but this, uh, lost but yeah. this things means that uh, the players are really paying attention to huge amount of things. And ACCM is still trying to raid the outside on the blue lines. Like, on the I'm gonna now. shot. You have to be careful. I mean, uh, Winchester is a decided game. I mean, you can feel that they, this is really important. It's like a final for them right now. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure these players, their goal... Uh, we were watching the interviews with you, with ACCM, and I think the minimum everyone wa uh, want it at least quarterfinals. That's the, like, yeah. the minimum, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, this is a definitely goal for all the top players. And right now we can see that ACCM is building TC in the middle and Dao just there with Shri Vamsha, but he's a little bit not controlling this well, so he's not fighting the villagers, which is kind of sad for him. Now he could. Now he could. Now he will. But the riders are not in the position. Okay. Uh, yeah, but there's one thing that I like it from, uh, from Doubt. He has a lot of stone. And then imagine do just doing a castle and taking that TC from with that castle. He's now trying mm -hmm. to raid at home. Doubt has five villages more. The game is still close. He has to be careful. He cannot lose those two mangroves. He can see the mangroves as well. That these towers need to fall somehow. Uh, where you will do the castle in terms of if you were doubt? You don't really want to build uh, them on the back because of the map, right? This is the gold, gold rush. At some point, you'll need to fight for the middle. So building castle on the base to just take off those towers and take the map control back, this is not really the case. So I think the best scenario for him is just to win the fight right now, clean up all this forward right now, and just go in the middle and build a uh, castle in the middle with all this advantage. Oh man, now it is doing really well because now he's taking the towers and he's using the riders in front to dodge all the arrows, right? Vinches? so he cannot take the, the arrows on the mangonos. Look at this. The riders just don't get any of those. The stone is already there. It's gonna kill absolutely everything. The scores still say that the Lord, like people love to, to call out, is taking the lead. 93 population, 92, almost the same. Where to go now? Let's see where Doubt is gonna make the castle because now he's sending riders also on the TC in the middle and he took few villages, but now go away, amigo. He has to go away. He is still there and he's going now. But he's still picking villages here and there, Mr. Winchester. Yeah, but he's so slow. I mean, he's not taking this fight. He would clean up everything there without any... Are you, I calling, mean, the are you calling the Lord is slow? Winchester, uh, what is this, man? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Doubt Slow, not about his microcontrol, as you would probably... Yeah, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. But, like, yeah, he, about the decisions. You mean, you mean that he could commit right now, right? Yeah, he could commit like one or two minutes before, and right now ACCM is the one who has the resources for the castle, <laughs> and if he drops the castle right now, he will finish it even if it lose a little amount of wills in the middle, so... My question is, yeah. why not more upgrades? He has not the armor, only the attack. I mean, 
He might those riders with the plus two, for example. I think he could commit and kill all. Now he's trying to convert the pikes. Oh, oh the mangoes. He can attack. He can attack. He can attack. Oof, he almost killed his own riders. But I don't know, man. The battle can be insane. He forced oh, him. Oh, not the castle. castle. Oh, no. I don't like that castle. That castle is a scary one. And now he's trying to make it. But in the worst moment possible, the mangoes are coming. And now that is going to lose. Oof. The, the mangoes is going to lose the mangoes or not. He has to kill the siege. If he's taking the siege. The guy who is taking the siege, this is a disaster for Doubt. Th that was the worst fight possible for Doubt. With bigger numbers, he was in a small place, so not all this revenge attacked at the same time. He didn't really convert. He was not shooting with the mangrels. Oh, that was just a terrible fight for him. Yeah, well, he's behind in 10 villains. No military numbers. The good thing is that they are very fast. He's gonna take another or not. He's got, he got converted. He can convert another back. The castle is gonna be up, but now he need more stone. He might take that stone and will try to come back. As you can see, population is still very close, but look at the castle now got ACCM. The chances here for Daudi is to be up to Imperial faster. Otherwise, in my opinion, GG well play. I don't know what mm -hmm. you think. Or maybe the same like you played before, just try to raid all the map uh, with oh, Shuram true. Shot, try to play aggressive. So maybe the next castle. I mean, at this point, when you're not really um, feel that you are faster to Imperial Age, maybe it's even better to try to build the next castle on the enemy base like you did. So just ignore the middle and try to go while you have the gold. Just try to go on the enemy base and just try to clean up all his farm economy. But the difference from what we have in Nikov versus your game, that it's much more farms right now for ACCM, so he's not going for the fast team. He has completely strong eco Ooh. that most of the eco operates. But look at those villains there. It might kill a lot of villains here, Doubt. Yeah. Oh, Doubt! Just <laughs> passing! Ah, oh, come on, man! Come on! Seriously! I mean, he's, he's seven villains and he's just passing. He's going to take a what? A, a trip? A holidays? And now, I can't believe this, man. I really can't believe this. Anyway, he's there with the riders now, trying now to kill and killing another. The gate is gonna be down. Unbelievable! Dying at home now with some riders, he's trying to kill the pikes, will do. And I think he's just gonna make the castle in this area to, to take some map control in the middle or deny some goal, or he wanted to go forward. I really don't know what he wants. Oh god. Yeah, it's hard to understand, but right now it's definitely better for ACCM. He has more eco, he ha oh, and he killed all the Shrivamsha close to his base. I don't like this castle, this is kinda like... What? <laughs> but yeah, yeah I mean, in general, that, that castle like, for for ACCM better. for what? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, and this is like under the hills, <laughs> like yeah, but exactly what doubt, under but, the hill. But Winchester, what doubt is doing with those villas in front? I mean, uh, they send know. villas alone to to the party. Like, what is this? Anyway, yeah, economy. He's going up to Imperial. Doubt. Mm. Well, I thought that at some point he can save this game with going for elephants, siege elephants, because they are just super strong, the siege elephants. But the yeah, Emperor Lich is the way to go as well. But how do you fight archers at some point? I'm not sure that he can really take down a huge amount of archers, consider that he'll be out of gold, so he won't be able to make a lot of Shri Ramsha riders. So I think if ACCM just go for a lot of a lot of archer, he'll even fine with fighting the Imperial Army. Well, that's a wall on the left area to don't get raided. And he has a stone to make two castles. So, if he made the castles where ACC has those outposts in top of those hills, you go with the trebuchet earlier than your opponent, you kill the castles, man. He, mm. he can take the castles from his opponent. The problem is that Doubt is being stubborn and he's not doing so much villages anymore. He has only 97 villages, while ACCM has 130 villages. 130 villages. Remember that they have bombard cannons as well. And uh, well, let's see, he's doing the upgrade to, to have the, uh, the unit uh, cheaper, cheaper food. This one knight and two monks. Man, uh, ACCM, I wouldn't oh, be surprised that he's taking also that relic that that doubt got at the back. Yeah, man. He's gonna take the relic <laughs> yeah, from his base, man. Afraid. But why do you convert them? I, I know the villager there is cool, so you can make some stuff, but... Eh. Just kill. Yeah. Okay, well, he's doing the castle here, Doubt. We'll have the, the second castle here, he's doing the plus one. He's doing also some riders. Uh, at home, he's, he's killing more and more villains. Doubt is not reacting, man. He's not reacting to these ratings. This is, mm. this is the really, wow. Okay, he's losing another villager now. He's gonna lose another one. I don't want to look there. He's doing the third castle here. 
trying to, to come back. In 15 seconds, he's going to be in, in Imperial. Those units are plus two attack, plus one armor. They're very strong. I mean, if you take the castles down, it can be fine. But please, please, at home, doubt. Do you think if I scream, he's going to notice? Uh, <laughs> doubt. You are losing 20 villains with one knight. Seriously. Do you, do you know how to see in the Titanic, Winchester? Uh... Do you know? I mean, uh, you mean yeah, Titanic on stream? Yeah, of course I know. <laughs> okay, well, you, you can do it if you want. My god, oh, no, what no, is no. this? I am a bad singer. <laughs> I'm a singer, oh my god. Winchester, he still, now he noticed. How many villages? I'm checking that knight. Eight villages he has killed with that knight. And still conversions. I mean, doubt, come on. You might, I mean, the conversion, this is most annoying uh, noise in the game. So you always react to conversion and watch the minimap where is it happening. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, and he's trying to take the low HP knight, but unfortunately, there is a monk <laughs> killing this knight. Yeah, the rays are coming now. Work. He has done a massive damage in this area. But why in this spot did you don't wall? I mean, why ACCM is fully walled since, since Dark Age? Instantly. He's doing Warwolf. Well, not surprising. Definitely not surprising. But then the problem he's is. He's taking the castle on the hill. Why? Start with the castle on the bottom. Well, but maybe because he's more important. So if he killed that yeah, castle, but, I mean, uh, but this is the production building. Yeah, but if he killed that castle before, uh, then it can go there. If not, with the war wolf, it's not gonna be possible. I know what you mean, but I don't know. ACCM 150 villages. Is that over boom? Oh, and now husbandry is killed by the armor. Doubt is missing so many upgrades for so long, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was no plus one. I mean, you are playing against Britons, and only now he gets the scale bar in armor. So. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. I mean, for me, it's surprising that he is still in the game, honestly. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. Right. About after this fight, when he was forced to build the castle on the back, I think he was kind of behind. Okay. But yeah, right now it's just impossible. I mean, and Barbul Barbul traps. He needs to wait for bombard cannons, but I'm not sure if he even has the university. Uh, I'm trying to find it, but uh, no, I don't see it. The university. Okay, Mortathram. Obviously, that castle is still need to survive. He has gold miners doubt on the middle that might lose them all. The, the, the Chathram are great if you have a lot of numbers, but those archers with the crazy range they have, GG call. Mm, yeah. uh, this has been definitely a game that the player who did less mistakes got it. I don't yeah, know. But if well, there is one point which we can say that players did really well. Yeah, besides all the, I mean, they still played on the highest level. I mean, all, they needed to micro in different spots, try to raid everyone, control the map, etc. But I think what is the best thing ACCM did here to win the game was his uh, moves in early castle age. So when Doubt was forced to build the siege workshop, even before that, when he came there with archers and forced to walls, and Doubt was not enough boot. I think all these two moves created so much. Um, so much mess on doubt space, so his clear, smooth feudal game just didn't pay it off because he got all this damage and he was forced to build 30c. I mean, he built three town centers because he had a lot of resources, but I'm sure that doubt in these situations would rather prefer to go for 2tcs and lot army. But he was out of gold, right? So you just don't have the rest to create the army. And that's the main mistake here. And this is because ACCM went there with small army and caused this damage. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't really on point, in my opinion, doubt in this one. He even misses some villages. Also, I mean, ACCM is just a stone wall. He's fully walled at home, and, and, and doubt it's open. He's not walling. He has been sending so many units uh, one by one. Didn't make the plus, uh, the plus one at all. It was a weird game for sure. It really was a weird game. Anyway, uh, game number two will happen. And uh, honestly, uh, it shouldn't be too worried for doubt because Britons is better in this map. That's another thing. That is better. Mm, at some point, yes, but it's still bad because I suppose Griaris is uh, the second stage pick for him. So this is like a top three sieves and he didn't really fight for Britons. Yeah, this is a strong sieve, but again, he just didn't have the priority for this sieve. I mean, ACCM and he won with this one. I mean, it's just about the draft and about how players see the draft. It must be not really good for him. Yeah, well, let's see. Let's see because we have now... Uh... Nomad and Nomad is going to be doubt. Uh, gonna pick what uh, in Nomad? We were talking before Portuguese and ACCM is gonna do. 
<laughs> well, let's let's think about Mayans. So where else Delt can pick the Mayans? Uh, four lakes? Mm, maybe, but we don't really see... By the way, yeah, there is no more civilizations for four lakes. I mean, there is no strong water chief, except the Portuguese. Oh, good point. Well... So maybe. yeah, maybe it's when Portuguese Nomad and Mines... Oh, I mean Portuguese on Four Lakes and Mines Nomad. Mm, but it's kind I will, of... I will have said that I will have picked Tatars on Gold Raz better. I don't know what you think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks for me better Tatars on Gold Raz, but okay, he picked good Jaras. But then he can go Tatars on Four Lakes as well. I don't know. The, the, the opening with Thumbrin for free. You know, they have good bonus with the, with the ships. It's it's kind of feel weird draft here by by doubt. Yeah, um, it looks really interesting to see what it will be where. I mean, it's kind of more predictable for ACM, I believe. Well, like Ma Malians, it's, not much, it's Malians and Port it's Malians and Portuguese. I mean, mm. I am in the game, and I see the civilizations right now. So it's Malians and Portuguese. Doubt has been playing a Nomad uh, amazingly well, and now he has to play amazingly well. Otherwise, it's going to be a 2 0, and you don't want to be a 2 0 against ACCM, Mr. Winchester. Yeah, I mean, when one of those players get their confidence, then I think they just play an amazing. So, yeah, definitely Doubt wants to make it 1 1 right now, especially on his home map because he didn't choose the ACCM's home map. Okay. Yeah, but Malians is Malians. I mean, it's really hard to play against them. I think this game, for me at least, will be really nice to compare those civilizations in Nine Villager start because a lot of players think that Malians and Persians are not that really strong as they were before in those settings. So it's going to be an interesting one. Do you agree? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I think I didn't really play exactly with those civilizations. Uh, I mean, usually Nomad uh, last days were for me like Portuguese or Spanish, and okay. you just someone tried the castle drop and the other just tried to avoid it. But okay. Anyway, guys, we are starting right now. We are starting. We see the players a moment before they focus because this is going to be now game number two. And game number two is Nomad, as we were talking. Doubt has. Color red and Portuguese civilization. So let's just put his point of view, Fog of War. And where he's going with the TC? It's going to the middle. This is a good spot for the town center. Here in the middle, he got gold, stone, deers. Mm, but there is a hill. He cannot build it there. Oh, man. Where he's going? Oh, man. They are so close. Really, really so close. Going for the wood here. There's a small hole there. That is going to connect their bases, and now he's going to discover ACCM. I think ACCM going to see Doubt TC, as you can see. Okay. But Doubt cannot see ACCM TC. Remember that they cannot fight mm -hmm. till two minutes. We're on minute 20. The TC is going to be up faster for ACCM. And this position benefit who? I think it's better for ACM just because of TC placement, because the wood line for Doubt will be um, deniable, and at the, the same time, he cannot really deny with one tower the wood for ACCM. So, if ACCM wants to play aggressive here just to, de just to uh, deny the castle drop from Doubt, then this map is just amazing, because he don't really need to go anywhere to get the um, first good tower on all the wood line from Doubt. Okay, and now he's also taking one board that was probably on Doubt range. Doubt has more more boards in the south, but he didn't explore yet. He's trying to go now with the village to see if he's finding. Remember that here, it's unlikely that you're going to be, uh, um, well, uh, with idle TC because you have the, the dog. He even left two villages in the shortfish. Do you like that? Doubt left two villages in the shortfish. Yeah, and uh, as far as I saw, that was not the um, planet. I mean, I saw that the villager was going to the TC at the first uh, first time, but maybe he forgot about it or something else. He just uh, chased, uh, changed the direction and just sent it on shorefish. So why not? If you already have, uh, have your town center, then there is no reason to rush the villager there because you still need food, right? And so why don't take the shorefish? Okay, I'm just checking if, if ACCM will have another board to take. He has another one on the right. He's going to have definitely a head in that regard because doubt I see only that one boar. And with only one boar, Mr. Winchester, ouch, sounds not an oath to me.
and this quiet nomad guy. I mean, I mean, I was, I was expecting you to talk, and I was, how is possible, Vince? Is saying, shut up five seconds, <laughs> like, like seriously. I was, I, I need to check if he's muted or something, but no, it, it's incredible, seriously incredible. Anyway, let's see now. He's going now with the with the around the shoreline, and. Uh, He's not gonna find any other board because ACCM is taking them all. Doubt cannot yeah, I mean, see his opponent. Is... He's gonna find Amazing. now. Oh man. The house is there. I think now he knows that he's very close. His opponent is close. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, uh, the first good that he knows right now. And so he can plan. And the bad thing for ACCM, I mean, it's really nice that he has a lot of words, but I suppose he wants to go for field dog, field dog aggression. So Vincent all there, these... Vincent there. Sorry, look what Doubt is doing. He's idling on purpose. He was idling for a while. And I was like, oh my god, he's idling, but he's not going to do the loom. He's not going to have the building. Thanks God, he's building the Lambricam now with so many villages and he's clicking up with only one boar. Go, 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 mm -hmm. Mr. Vincent. And that's the idea. So you want to be uh, really aggressive and one boar is like enough. So the only good thing that if he wants to go for a castle, then you need a lot of food. But this is not really the case for ACCM. So it's kind of hard for him to use all this food advantage. And I like what Doubt is doing. He just realized that there is a big wood line. He's rolling on the right hand side and he's going up, going up early and even scouting with his fish and ship. He really wants to know where is the enemy dock, I suppose, and he'll play for water. Okay, and this is exactly what he's doing. He's not going to mine goal. There's one villain from ACCM, laming the deers. And he still noticed out. Let's see if he's gonna be focused because those deers are just dying in on, on his face pretty much. He can see the Valir. And now ACM is going away. Is he gonna try to make some tower there? He's doing the outpost, gathering information. I like that out picking Nomad, but these players, you know, uh, ASEAN players, Vietnam, Chinese, they play Nomad all the time, Winchester. Yeah, they're just amazing on this map, and with all those villagers everywhere, I can tell you the minimap, I mean, they're just super experts. Yeah, they, they are used, really, really used to, to these maps. Anyway, second dock in the south. Remember that Portuguese on water, I mean, should be a little bit stronger, more HP. Uh, more HP, those, uh, the, the galleys, so in uh, equal numbers, should have a small advantage. Yeah, but mm, to be honest, when I play, I don't really feel that. And I like the outpost from the doubt. He kind of expect that his wood lines are not the best. I wouldn't even surprise if he'll go for town watch kind of early. And yeah, we can see his assembly in the barrack. He definitely don't want to switch this into castle H. He wants to play aggressive. And I like how he do right now because there is a outpost already. He knows about stone. He knows about the gold. This is an amazing vision for ACCM. And I suppose he'll try to play aggressive there. Even if he lose water, this is not a big deal because he will have... Uh, He'll be fine with Malian's economy. As you mentioned, he was going to make the tow that tower. It was kind of expected. Doing the tone watch, I think Doubt so really, really make another outpost in the south and make the tone watch as well. Why not? Obviously, Doubt need to take the water because if he's not taking the water right now, he's gonna be in a difficult position because his opponent is coming with arches, Mr. Winchester. Yeah, and it ah. seems like he was a little bit on wrong direction with these fire ships, and that's definitely a mistake because he checked that the enemy dock is not on the right hand side because he was walking there with villager a little bit. So he could expect that uh, the enemy dock is on the left, and else he even scouted it with will or ship. I am not sure what it was. So that was a sloppy by him. And also, I think that ah, oh, okay, he made a town watch, but I don't really know why he didn't build the outpost somewhere on the bottom of his bottom wood line because um, there was an expected spot for enemy tower, so he did it to cover this area i mean this gap in his wood line kind of earlier so he could even see the forward coming and right now i think it's a mistake by acm to show the spear so doubt right now has the time to react for that yeah but the water on what is also now taking the battle here he's lost quite a lot of hp you need to go back you need to send a villager there so right now doubt is not having the advantage on water and on land his opponent is already with the rt range and a spear how we can explain this because in this situation doubt should be really ahead and now he's forced to make a tower i like that the stone is close to the tc so that's okay but uh it's a tricky situation now for doubt he really has to play properly or problems big problems right now 
Yeah, and the ACCM right now can see the tower, and he's doing a nice one. Maybe it's not the perfect one. I would build it on the left hand uh, on the left hand side of this wood line, but this tower is fine as well. I mean, it will cover most of the wood line, so that will be out of wood at some point. And right now, he for sure cannot afford anything. So yeah, ACCM just uses his civilizations civilization much better now, and that probably got just a little bit unfortunate map. Okay. Well, uh, not taking the best decisions. Now he's going with more bullets. He's gonna wall here. Look at the archers. Need to go back. Being on point, definitely, definitely ACCM. Doubt. Need to go back again. Those two bullets chasing so many. Why he's not building? Just, I don't know. Maybe he's just too greedy to be like this. A barrack and two skirmishes. He's fine. Mm, yes, but again, where, where do you take the wood for that? I mean, he has it right he has. now. Yeah, but. Eh. Doubt okay, is oh, look at the field. water, look at the water demo! It's not shooting properly, yeah, it's not, not shooting properly, he still did okay, but now he has more galleys, he do not notice ACM, gonna lose the water, ACM didn't even know, what is this oh. ACM, oh my god, the players are really, 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 really uh, nervous because this is crazy, he lost all the water, it's true that he's focusing on, on the land right now, but Doubt is gonna have a second tower, and now all the army for ACM is gonna be gone. Yeah, and uh, check the resources for Doubt. I didn't really expect this is so good for him. I mean, he has a lot of rest. That's huge, right? Yeah, and now he's gonna have even more because if he keep going, why he stay there? He need to go and take the fish. And this is the good thing. Half of his economy now is idle. Demo, all the fish. Demo is out from the dock and take all the free galleys. They're low HP right now. Ooh, he's oh, gonna do it. Got it! Yeah, All the three galleys really to the damn hell! Oh man, what a timing, what a momentum, what a co-caster that see everything. <laughs> Unbelievable! Okay, and now with the wood here, what? He need to move the wood. The wood is definitely in a bad spot now. So yeah, make another that... American. Well, it seems like Dot want to make it completely all in. So he'll probably build the mill and market. I'm not sure if he has the mill. So he needs to build mill market and just buy all the resources. By the way, it can be the way to go here because his villager number is still decent. He's not losing water, so he will have some efficient ship later. So he just needs the market and gets the castle age. Castle will solve the problem with towers at some point. So you can <laughs> take a good position. And... Doubt economy. Age is amazing, Winchester. Two on yeah, wood. I love Two it. Two on wood, five on goal. Oh, five on foot, all on goal. Now losing Willis is being really slowed out with this uh, with these reactions. He's losing two Willis now. He's gonna make another tower. Oh my God, this is this uh, is disaster. It's really disaster. Wh wh why the hell he just didn't build a tower earlier? I mean, this yeah, is exactly, super expected. Man. I mean, this is really. Expe I mean, he has a lot of stone, and then he wait him to come. He wait him to come. That doesn't make any sense to me. Population now 35, all is 42. The only chance if he's, he's doing the mill fast by the resources, but that he has resources uh, he, to go up. Now there is not enough wood for the market. But he can buy. He has to. Uh, no, there is no market. <laughs> oh, there he cannot no buy. You are right. Yeah. He cannot buy. Oh my God. Aye, aye, aye. How he can buy if he's, if what he wants to do is the market. Disaster, yeah. disaster. All right. And now what? He has no wood either. Why can't he move to make a Lambrican? Well, he has a Lambrican in the south. That's the safe wood he has. Mm -hmm. I just noticed. And on the water, he's losing the water too. He's dead, uh, man. He cannot fight because there is no wood for him. He wants he to He's really dead, uh, man. Oh, wow. Okay. I like the idea of second tower, but it's better for ACM because there's archers inside. It's much better for him. And else Fletching, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, he can go up to Castle in a moment, doubt if he's doing the market, because he has a lot of gold and a lot of stone. He's gonna make it, and then he can build a castle and organ guns, but... Uh, he's six villages behind, six villages behind, which is quite a lot. And also, well, not really having an uh, efficient economy, 17 are idle, man. 17 are idle. Oh, uh, and ACCM just bow. I mean... Uh, the market just is an exact time. I see Sam is buying a little food as well. So, yeah, yeah they, they, this is this is impossible for well. doubt. I mean, let's see. He's doing fletching now, fletching now. So yeah, I mean, what? No, you. I mean, one hundred food for him is huge. He don't really 
Mm, I think he cannot. Ah, oh, okay, he cannot break this tower because there is a villager behind. He needs to get the pledge so he can snap the wheels. Okay. Otherwise, he's killing he will them. This fight. Yeah. He's killing both villages, actually. Okay. Not both because he went away. But this is the problem. Mr. Mr. ECCM is on the way to Castle, and now Doubt need to buy his up to Castle. And he find also the two villages on Wood in the south, man. Look at this. Winchester, the two villages in the south that wow. are, are out of nowhere, you know, and then the two archers are there taking them. Doubt is incredible, but he's on the way to Castle H because he's just mining gold and stone forever. And then he will do a castle at home. And still, the organ guns can be crazy. So, well, let's see. Do you think there is a chance here for, for the Lord? Yeah, there is definitely some comeback mechanic in this game still with the organ guns, but. Ah, well, ACM, I think he's heavily on gold. I think he'll go for redemption monks. That can work. Okay. Well, you will need to make a lot of monks. And also, redemption is not a, is not a cheap a cheap upgrade. He will have yeah. a stone to make the castle. Winchester, that's the problem. He's repairing the, the, the tower all the time. So, population 6541. 6541 is a huge difference here. I mean... Doubt has been slow with the reactions the whole game, uh, Winchester. Like yeah, he's just a little bit not on for it, I think. Yeah. So and okay. I feel like the fact that ACM he must expect that doubt is not on wood. Why then he's not attacking the dogs? Because he must expect that doubt cannot really produce a lot of uh, a lot of ships just because there is no wood. So he needs to straight. He don't need to idle on water. He really wants to do straight on water, but he kind of ignores it. And you don't really need the war galley upgrade because you will win water anyway. Again, because you know you are aware that there is no food for your enemy. You know that, I mean, it must be expected, right? It's not that hard. Yeah. And look where Doubt is going. He's going all in. A castle on his face. And all those villagers are damaged, and ACM could see this with his tower. Oh. But he need to buy, man. What is he doing now? Oh, God. Okay. Okay, he's building the castle. He's now making some walls. I like these a lot. He's doing oh, the house. Walls is really he's good. doing the house. He's doing well. He's doing really well. That castle is gonna... I mean, this is not needed for, for ACCM. ACCM can throw the game here. I don't know what you think, but... He's losing all army. This. Yeah. Oh, but he took a lot of wills as well there. And he's losing okay. water for sure. I mean, the doubt. Okay, but the castle is there. He's gonna take now the TC. He's gonna take the tower. He's doing more towers. He has no village on goal, ACCM. So. Monks uh, is not the. <gasps> Why? He's doing siege. I don't. Ag I disagree with siege. I mean, you must expect the. Ah, maybe it's easier when you see it. Uh, I mean, it's definitely easier when you see it like we do. But, I mean, it must be expected that you're, uh, he can know that no, your no, the enemy defense. is only on gold and stone. Yeah. So it's going to be organ guns. Well, Siege Workshop is fine, but <laughs> not when you don't have resources for the monks, right? It must be monks, and later if you have rest, then you add something else. But right now, he will be out of unit to counter the organ guns. So maybe there is still some chance. Oh man, but but he's losing all the towers now, and the problem is that now Doubt, Doubt has zero villages on goal, zero villages on goal. He's doing a lumber camp now, no, not creating villages, but he has 200 food, and he's not creating villages. Those towers are guard towers. Ah, guard towers. That's very nice. That's really very nice. And even if those towers are Botkin, but he has now a Mangonel coming with archers as well. Uh, Doubt is dead. 30 population, 70. He keep trying, but uh, he's just uh, definitely out of this game, Mr. Winchester. And I'm telling yeah, you like this. So, I'm yeah. telling you like this because definitely this is not the best performance by Doubt. Not by far. Mm -hmm. By the way, this one organ gun find the villagers on the top side of the map, and this villager is just running and it's scary. Yeah, he could kill it with the villagers, that organ gun. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. so. There is not a huge amount of HP on the 16. Yeah, he's gonna make it the night anyway, so he's fine. Well, the series are going to be with ACCM 2-0, and if AC and if Doubt is not increasing his performance by a ton, it's uh, gonna be difficult for him to come back in this one. I mean, according to the first and the second in the game, definitely uh, Doubt need to play much better. Yeah, for system. sure, for sure. But Doubt is Doubt, right? He yeah. was in all possible situations in the tournament, so. Uh, I mean, he always can play good and reverse sweep in case if he feels that. 
I mean, in any position. So, and I like ACCM TC on the bottom. He just sees all the map, I suppose, right? If he'll yeah. put his uh, line of sight, he sees everything. Yeah, he has explored everything. He got he got outposts all over the map, as you can see, with the Fog of War. I mean, everything is under his vision. Then we have uh, Daudu now defending with organ guns. So if you are doing a castle and defending with organ guns, I mean, he's still in the game because he feels, oh, I have killed his stone center. Maybe I have a chance here. He's going to take the Mangonel. Yeah, you need to kill the Mangonel, man. First. The Arches yeah. isn't better than Mangonel first. Okay, he got it. The organ guns are so strong, to be honest. They're really, mm -hmm. really strong, but... Yeah, but he has guard towers also. It's, it's so difficult here, like... And zero village on goal. He is not mining goal. He has no goal. Yeah, I suppose he's just selling wood, right? Because yeah. finally he got some wood in this game, but no other rest. Yeah, yeah losing not, towers not was not good. the best stuff, of course. He needed to save them somehow, I don't know. Just bear for longer. Yeah, he's doing another TC now, AZCM. He has another one in the south as well, as you all can see. He's coming with how many? How many organ guns? Six organ guns, but uh, the towers are the problem. I mean... A real problem. Those towers are very strong. They are with bot Kinaro. Obviously, if he's going with that many organ guns, he might kill that tower. He's going with Veliz even. Okay. Yeah, it seems like he really wants to clean up this part of the map. And this is a good decision by him. He needs to get somewhere, somehow to his gold. And once he finishes this tower, he can try to get to the gold. Oh, and he has the stone for another castle, maybe. And finally, ACCM going for monks. But what a bit too late. Well, the monks <laughs> is still not gonna work. He has double monastery. Now he's doing the redemption, but he still have what one monk only. And now he need to send Velis. He need to probably make another castle. Yes, I, I like that. But as you mentioned, look at the mangonel here. If he put the mangonel outside right now, he can do a disaster. Oh yeah, well, no. no. Okay, that, that was out. Was a good move here. Yeah. And he need more Velis to make the castle. But you know the problem, Winchester, and uh, everyone in the stream. He has no villages. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not even well, joking. It's 28 villages. How? How you send more? Important to build the tower, uh, to build the castle. Like, I mean, castle is amazing. He really needs to build this castle before the redemption monks. Oh god! But it's just. Oh my god! It's... That castle. What is going on? He converted that. Now he's doing the. Oh my god! Doubt. Aye, aye, aye. He deleted twice, and now he's gonna make it back. I don't know if he's gonna be able to take those. I mean. That was too greedy. He's doing now on the left, which is okay. But with only five villages, Winchester. With only five villages. And please put the villages at the back of that castle. Yes, he's going to make it. But with only three organ guns. He's coming with two and monks. Two monks yeah, if he convert, if he convert, that's it. He's going to convert. He convert oh, even old. And GG okay. call. Whoa. Well. It's domination, guys. It's domination for now. The first two games, Dao didn't play that great the first, but this one even, um, the reaction to, to the aggression, it was a slow, Winchester. I mean, I'm just uh, remembering when he has the wood with that outpost on the left, and he basically died against one archer and two spears in this time. Well, yeah, I think there was the first mistake for me personally was building the tower and walling at the same time. He After he saw the aggression on the right hand side and he has the outpost, you don't really need to focus too much on walling. And uh, there is a two ways. First, you get a mining camp on stone because it was kind of late. I mean, he got stone late. The first one is you get mining stone on stone earlier, so you get your towers up uh more towers in time then he just didn't need to lose the villagers on gold and if he would has tower there in in advance then he would not lose the villager first and there won't be that fight which uh, he had there so he would get up and castle H earlier because you even uh, maybe you even remember he was buying for something else he bought he he was forced to do fletching this is huge when you buy resources for the um, castle H. so that was really sloppy by doubt i mean some just I don't know, just sloppy decisions. He just need to wake up, probably. <laughs> yeah. just there. But but for me, the problem here is that would be so predictable. I, I really believe that why not going after the game he played yesterday, why not going for Chaotic and board the dispute again? Well, or, or yeah. Spin. Like, what I mean is, Nomad is a map that doesn't guarantee you a, a, a position to dominate. Because... The lag factor is important as well. It's kind of like flipping a coin, in my opinion, with Nomad. And ACCM, Vietnam players, Chinese, it's really, really strong. So 
is uh, you know what I mean like how you how you really can uh, prepare a strategy for nomad you cannot prepare a strategy a hundred percent is what I mean I mean, I mean um, if you're talking about nomad as random map but you should never say like two sentences one after another when you say that's a coin flip and Asian players is really strong on nomad because if they are really strong on yeah. nomad that means that this is not a coin flip you just need your skill so please don't uh, tell it uh, one by one so we don't have excuse that we lost the game because this is a coin flip man don't tell this to anyone on stream never please I'm gonna ban this guy guys <laughs> I'm gonna ban these guys. You know, I mean, this this guy is this is disgusting. You know, disgusting. <laughs> please, man, please. Okay, please, man. You got you got it or not, man? Yeah, but I mean, eh. I mean, of course you need the skills and you know, the, the, the 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 plan, but um, you cannot prepare yeah, a strategy yeah. because depending on a lot yes. of factors, yes. like yes. those yes. test positions, yes. like if you were completely super far from your opponent, it's better because you know you are not gonna get rushed. But they were so close, and then the 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 Malians is better than Portuguese. Yeah, exactly. This is what I said at some point in the game that uh, ACM just used his civilizations perfect, right? What Doubt needed to do is just avoid any feudal aggression. I mean, because he don't really want to build barrack and range because it's just better for Malians. He saved more resources in this point and he really wants to fight for the water. But what ACCM did, he was not losing the water, even consider that he took a bad fight. They were almost not fighting on water. The main action was on the land and this is exactly what Malians want, especially against Portuguese. So I think just in macro it was much worse for doubt and yeah at some point of course this is because of the map his first wood line is easy to deny and uh, yeah it's hard to find other wood. Well and now uh, the next game is four lakes and we have ACCM with Byzantines which is a very good one and doubt with Bulgarians which is a civilization that we don't see often on this map. Being said that, we're going to focus on see how the players are looking right now. And we see ACCM 2 doubt 0 getting prepared. And uh, hmm, this civilization matchup, we're going to talk about it, but you are getting into the game number three. And ACCM is with a really important lead in the, in the game. Byzantines and Bulgarians. Uh, ACCM in the north as a blue, doubt in the south as a red. And before we check the maps and everything, Civilization matchup Winchester here. What does say that to you? I think Byzantines is much better. Like really much I mean, better, right? Yeah, much better because Bulgarians, they are really nice for aggressive style. And by the way, I already can see that the wood for ACCM is just terrible because yeah. this is, I mean, this is the usual thing for four legs, but I thought that in this map pack, there is mm, really nice maps with good back wood lines like they both has but it's kind of far in this game i don't know why so definitely forward can work here and with bulgarians you can get byzantines out of war in early feudal age with your auto man at arms upgrade so you can really i don't know just snowball go there take the map control later build the crap post but all besides that byzantines is just better they're better at pawns control because of the Stronger fire ships, uh, they're better uh, about the vision. So once it get to the Messi game, they have a better vision at some point. So and I'll say your units are cheap, so it's really good to do a lot of camels. Let's say because Bulgarians in some point, this is a captive. So I don't know. I do like Byzantines here, but Bulgarians has some power point the power spikes as well. Do you think that maybe a, a full aggression with Bulgarians in feudal could be a possibility? Yeah, it must be for sure. If you ignore this part of the game, then uh, ACCM just can't control or at least try to get the free lakes, just fish boom all of the, on, on all of them and just go, I don't know, wherever he wants. Even an archer fast team can work against the knights, but it's just easier to go for like, let's say two stables, one, two ranges and castle age, he will be even possible to add the TCs if he has a good fish boom. So Byzantines can just get everything as usual and they'll be decent to fight anything that Bulgarians can Get there. I mean, I mean, Winchester. If uh, if Doubt is just exploring properly, uh, the wood is in front, very very bad. The stone is in front. The other stone is even behind the woodland in front. The berries are exposed, and even the goal on the left can be exposed. Like if you go with a good aggression, let's say Menatans and Towers is starting. Since you have Menatans for free, upgrade. It could be lovely here. And yeah, the, yeah. I mean, this is what I started with. I mean, the map is 
perfect for that. I mean, there is no better map on four lakes where you can forward because it's just uh, it's just nothing on the back for ACCM. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. It's not that Doubt map is great because he has the wood in front, but also a little bit closer to the TC. ACCM might lose that that scout. No. Okay. It's not eating the, the scout. It's just going around now. And both players doing the loom, going to go up. And now Doubt is gathering the information. He can see one stone. He can see the second he does. He can see the wood. So if he is now being fast thinking here, he knows that his opponent can be in a problem if you go if you go forward. And if he find the, the goal as well, well, lucky, uh, lucky for him, he didn't find the berries and didn't find the goal for one tile. He's going to move there. Ooh. And <laughs> he did it. He found it too. So all the resources are forward there. He, he knows now. And he's doing the barrack. I like it. He's going to go aggressive. Yeah, and this is really good for ACCM. He's really scouting well, and he will see the tower. So with Byzantine, you, he just he will need to drop the tower instantly once he will see the Dao tower and try to win this tower fight. This is really important here. He's chasing that yes. scout, which is not the way to go. He's doing the militias. So, uh, in my opinion, Dao is really doing the right things. Uh, ACCM too, because he's doing the barrack and he's starting to wall everything. But one tower in front. Here put ACCM without any wood close to himself. I know that you say that he has to put the tower there, but uh oh, he's trying to stop him to to wall, but he didn't. <laughs> but he obviously didn't. blocked him. <laughs> yeah, he did the well, block. Okay. What I'm thinking now, you know that probably Byzantine will drop a tower to counter your tower. So if I would be doubt, I would take stone earlier and I would try to build a tower somewhere not in the middle of this woodland, but somewhere on the side. So right now, ACCM can drop a tower on the middle, so he'll be fine. But if you build tower, let's say more on the left, then probably even ACCM will build his tower more on the left. Then second tower on the right will just take the loot, right? So maybe it can be a little bit better controlled by Dao. Oh, but... Yeah, and this is another... Yeah. He needs to build it more on the left because right now... Well, um, it's okay. He's building on the right now. So he's doing more or less the same, but on the right side. So the problem oh, is that... And the under the TC, he's taking the sheep. Oh, he's taking all the sheep. That's really important, actually. Just kill them. He's not yeah, gonna he kill him. Like oh my god! Oh control. my god! Okay, he didn't take the sheep at the end. He lost the scout. Do you know that and sometimes... ACCM is losing scout as well to the villagers. Okay. He's tried to kill the bill. That's bad for him. And Man at Arms is a little bit inside. That's really nice. And he will trap. He trapped he trap. him now. Well, he can move there. He has the Man at Arms. They still take the spear. He can still attack the, the, the goal, but he's gonna have an archery range already. The tower is there. But uh, let's see what is he doing. What is the following from Doubt? Doubt at oh, home. And I love it. He has much more efficient ship than ACCM. I mean, this is what I think is important. He is like four villagers more right now. He will definitely has better economy at some point. Well, he has a lot. He has double the fish. Like, like a lot mm -hmm. more. And now he's doing the RT range. Oh, might do some villager, skirmishes. Villager from ACCM on the Doubt stock. Oh, if Doubt will not see that, this is will just win the game, him. Okay, let's see, because ACCM is doing the dog here now. I don't know why Doubt... Why Doubt is not doing a single galley, man? He has the... Look at the resources. Look at the resources. He has... But no, mm -hmm. he's doing another dog in the north. But man, just secure your leg with one damn galley. Only one galley, which is not happening. Now he's doing an outpost, two villas on a stone. So he's just playing like if he has no, no opponent right now. Oh, and oh, he's going for outpost. Okay. And that's really nice because Very I think nice. at some point Doubt can match the fire galleys on the bottom just because ACCM won't have a lot of wood uh, woods. So I think right now they'll need to understand that he can win fire on the bottom and just do not abandon the just do not abandon the bottom bottom side of the map. And I think he reacted. I think he he, he should see. Yeah, he's, yeah he's doing the bar galley. Yeah, that's good, fine for him. He needs to okay. build another dock from my uh, from my point of view. He's doing the blasmith uh, in the north. I don't know if he's gonna try to sneak now the the fish for AZCM. The score is still ahead for Doubt, who is playing now good. He has Eskermis is taking the arches. Zero, zero army. This wouldn't be a problem. This definitely shouldn't be a problem. He's gonna have the fire galley there, and if he has a villain oh, here. You have and to defend. Clean, clean up the archers. Sorry for interrupting. Yeah, yeah. I, to I told you, man. In the middle. 
But oh, I told so, you. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, why are you focused, man? Well, you are not yeah. focused, Winchester, today. I said he's just killing the archers. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, man. Are you are you delayed? <laughs> <laughs> lag, man. Winchester got some lag today. Anyway, mm, that looks yeah, solid in this thing. game. Yeah, and Fish has already paid off because look at the food he has. I think uh, maybe oh, at wow. some point the ACCM was kind of matching him, but right now I think he has uh, anyway better chances to get up. And he controlled the pond on the north. Uh, really nice, right? I mean, on the, um, what is this? On the east, right? So yeah. he has the outpost, he sees everything, so he can be... Yeah, and I like the idea, he's building the second dock. This is really what he needs there. Yeah, he's really good because you need to control this fish. He has a lot. He's gonna have now the two galleys. Remember that that Byzantines are, uh, well, they fire faster. He has to repair that one. Go, go, go and repair. And then with the second dock, he should be just fine. Need to go back. He's gonna lose one fish. Okay, not the big, the end of the world. But now he's doing a second dock as well. But send some skirmisher here or some archer and then you kill that villager. No? Like. Mm hmm. Yeah, take that villager down. Even make a demo, probably. If not, it's gonna be a rough battle. On in the north, you can see that on the goal he's trying to go with the skirmishes. He's not doing too much damage. Now he's creating chaos to to ACCM. A lot of idols. Look at the TC Winchester. Not even having the mill. So many villages idle. He need. To, I mean, if he take the water here, a doubt. He's with a huge advantage, in my opinion. Yeah, if he will not lose the fish, then there is no um, advantage for ACCM. Okay, Morgales is now doing the stable finally. I don't know, he should make the market? Well, he can't because he's doing now the mill. Finally, he's now doing the mill and he can go up. And then the following what? A Krepos forward? Knights? Because he might have a stone for a Krepos as well. Yeah, I mean, it uh, doesn't really matter what uh, you wants to go here. If you just need to make uh, continue to make pressure. It can be Krepos, it can be full Knights with little boom and later castle or something. But you just need to play aggressive, I think. Everything in doubt hands right now. Yeah, but be careful with the fish. He has to control the fish. He's going back now with that galley. He's gonna lose that galley. He's not repairing. Now he's coming with a demo. Aye, aye, aye. Why he didn't make demos before? Well, we don't know. He's gonna take another. He's fine. Even with the demo, he seems to be fine. He's going to repair. Coming now with a demo himself. Another fire galley. The water is so important. He's gonna lose it. Mm, he's about to lose, but the demo is and coming. Demo, demo, oh. demo, demo. Oh. First. No, no, no. Where are you no. Oh, no. I, I can't stop. I mean, what is happening? <laughs> today he sent the demo to my house and then he hit in my house and my wife is gonna be angry Winchester what is this seriously what's going on shoot the damn demo oh my god it's not the first time he did in the previous game as well I thought that he's genius he's not exploring demo at the same point and he was blocking the galley so his galley can escape the repair but that lost everything man <laughs> he lost everything because of that look at the fish well what fish what fish? Yeah, he, he lost. He still has more than fish. ACCM, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he's still in the other dock, in the yeah, other exactly. pond. It's crazy, man. It's seriously crazy. But but the thing here is, he could be in a huge position advantage. And right now, check ACCM KD. Oh yeah, that's really good. Damn. And he also took man at arms for free. Now he won the fight on the bottom. And even Skirm there, he can kill the deer, by the way, with this Skirm. <laughs> well, it's okay. He has double stable and ACCM, no second buildings to go up. He's doing now. Oh, He's rushing now. But man, uh, that need to hurry up, in my opinion. I don't know what you think. He really need to hurry up because you don't want to fight against Byzantines in Castle Age, you might, you know? He's up well, to yeah, now. but it's all depend on how he will set up. I mean, it's still knights and pikes. How do you counter it with Byzantines, right? Byzantines wants to have the pawns here, and Dowd is uh, the one who has the efficient lead. And he will has... Um, I don't know, I think it's just better for Dowd anyway. Do you know what I will do? I will chop that tree in front of the barrack and make a crepos there. Oh, yeah, that's a nice spot actually to take the second stone. That's kind of sloppy by doubt, but uh, yeah, because how you say it, there is uh, two forward stones from Byzantines and it's really nice yeah. to take all the stone. Oh, and he's going there. That's really good. Chop that tree, please, and people will think that I am... Ah, don't go to the right. <laughs> uh, no, where, where he's going? Oh, he wants no. to, to break in with the house and make on his face. Well, that's well, a good idea, but I don't know. 
I don't like yeah, this. It's not gonna, gonna go in, man. Out. It's not gonna yeah. go in. He's wasting a lot of time now. Oh my god, seriously. Well, the knights are on the house. I mean, he has the tower, but he could even break the palisade even. Okay, I mean, if he's breaking in, but now he's gonna make a gate, this is still open. It is still open. He need to send the knights, but he's not gonna send it. He's just blocking. I mean, the spot I was mentioning, I think it was perfect, to be honest. He's wasting a lot of time. Now he's not there even with the tower in range. The tower has not even fletching. He's not going to break it. The only chance here is that he's just break. Okay, he didn't break anything. And where is he going to make the crepos? On that yeah, right is that a yeah, better that... Is that a better crepos than the one I suggested? Mm? No, sure no. Don't think I so. Mean... The good thing from you, your crepest is that it takes stone, and maybe if Dot was able to build crepest a little bit slightly more forward at this spot, then it could be nice, because even if not in range, but anyway, he will not get uh, his opponent to cut a stone. But what else thinks uh, Dot could take the market here. Don't the, uh, don't, not stone gates, but market, that was low HP. Not, I mean, not low, like 1000, but he still could try to do it, and it's much harder to repair consider there is a tower from Doubt. Well, ACCM is still walling. My opinion, very, very slow aggression here by Doubt. Uh, went for definitely the wrong spot. Now, he's gonna try to take the Palisade oh, here. He's in. He's in. He's, he's inside. In right he's inside, inside with the Knights. It was open spot. all the time or not, but he those can, are camels. He can take the fight. He needs yeah. to take the fight, I think. He has, he has plus, plus two. two yeah. Oh my god, but he's not taking the battle. Why he's not taking the battle? Because he's scared about that. Oh, oh but he's in the on the left. But in the goal, this is the good thing for Doubt. Right he's now, now raining all escape. over. Wow. Now Doubt is killing a lot. He's really killing a lot, a lot and he has great population difference on his favor. Man, I don't know if now ACCM and if he's with a Byzantine civilization, he's gonna be able to come back because he's killing so many villages, Mr. Winchester. So yeah, many. Yeah, I mean it's definitely much better for Doubt, and he's not only investing in the aggressive style because he already made um, gill nets. He has a lot of fish and ship, and he's adding two town centers behind that. So he definitely has amazing position and else. I think Quanix is at some point they are fine against camels because of the infantry mode. Yeah, he has so many units right now. So many units. It's true that ACCM 12 camels. Also few monks. What is Doubt waiting for? Gonna make some more economy? The score doesn't say that he's that heavily ahead, but Billy is different now. Uh, Mr. Winchester is insane. His economy mm -hmm. now is much better than his opponent. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the game is probably in doubt hands. Yeah, and this okay. is normal. I mean, as I said, he has a lot of uh, pawn controller, has just better fish economy. Uh, and not only about the position, but about the numbers, right? He just made more. And uh, yeah, Fort DC is still map control with the first tower. So, I mean, there is like huge amount of ways that can finish this game. Yeah. Zero farmers, Winchester. I mean, this is the mic of this map of four legs, right? Zero farmers mm -hmm. with four tone centers. Why? Because he got 20 fishing ships and kill nets. Bozo doing the monastery forward just to kill those units. Obviously, don't take a bad battle because the snowball can be real. And ACCM got a lot of camels. Not, not a little. A lot of camels. 18 camels and three monks. What the hell, Winchester? Yeah, that's a lot, and I like how he plays with monks. So I think at some point he can even try to take the fight there, but I have no Ooh. idea why he's... The Krepos yeah. is nice, but why he's not doing what I told you? Just chop that tree and make him more forward, because without fletching, well, the Krepos is not taking that much. Obviously, it's a good one. He's taking a lot of map control with those two Krepos. Oh, and now it is going right there with the camels. Is this a point where... <laughs> Doubt will. Why he's not walling the bill? Oh my god. Okay, he deleted. And where's his army now? He got the monks and now he's gonna lose. Uh, he was chasing those four camels and this yeah. is a really big thing. Okay, well, he's doing triple barrack now. So he's gonna go full pikes. Uh, Villiers is, uh, is still with a big advantage. He has four tone centers and he's now booming really, really well. He need to be careful with those. He has another tower and go now for the Krepos. Don't lose those Villiers. I don't know why he's taking this battle here, uh, ACCM. Because he's under the Krepos. Yeah, but he's killing villagers. I mean, that's Oh, that's fine. true. And the monk as well. Okay. And he can heal up. Isn't the monks is healing faster, so that's still fine for him. He's doing now a defensive oh, Krepos on that TC. Oh, no, 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 no. You already invested in pikes, then what for you do for this? And go for this? Yeah, and why the Krepos there? I mean, like, I don't know. 
I, I will make a cripples probably between those two tone centers on the right where the goal and the T and the other TC is on the wood. It's now going to try to convert. It's crazy amount of farming by by by, by ACCM for sure. Crazy yeah. amount of farming, but he need to be careful now. He's going back now with the units. ACCM is playing really well according to the situations, Mr. Winchester. I don't know what you think. Yeah, I think he really did everything wrong in Castle H. All those camels, investing a lot into them, didn't really focus a lot on TCs. But, by the way, there can be still possibility for Dao to control all the wood lines if he would focus on this with Krapus later. But it just seems like he's not thinking about this. And I don't like the fact that with this Krapus he didn't take the tower. I mean, it, uh, the first it took like 200 HP from the Krapus already, and it gives a lot of vision there. <laughs> Have you seen? Have you seen what he's doing now with the knights and the uh, doubt and the conic? He's killing uh, the dogs, and this yeah, is a lot of fish. Sloppy. It's amazing, yeah, actually. This is sloppy by ACM to not adding any oh, demo. Okay, losing those. I mean, in this situation, also flitching and ballistic will help a lot. Where's the yeah, price? for sure. I mean, it's yeah. just super cheap, so I have no and, idea. And fifty percent cheaper. Why he's not doing? I don't know. Anyway, the pikes are here. Those are plus two pikes. He should go back. This is three monks. Do you do you want to commit? Oh my god! He's coming with a castle fight. forward. ACCM is coming with a castle forward. He need to send now all the army. I think that would need to commit with all the pikes, with the knights, and with the. Yeah. Yeah, He's that, gonna that make the nice domination. Fight. I don't know what you think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be a nice fight for him. I mean, he just needs to fight. Maybe he would even lose the fight, I don't know. Maybe that was a bad idea to fight there, but I think that trade is still decent for him. Okay, well, let's see. He's gonna take the battle. The castle is gonna try to be up. Coming with the pies. He needs to focus on the villains or in the army. Winchester. Oh, our army. army for sure. Army for sure. Now he's coming nice from behind army. with the knights, but where's the pies? Where's the pies? Where's the pikes? The pikes are going to the damn villains. Are you kidding me, man? You need to kill the damn camels. Okay. He's killing some units, obviously, but he's not being together. The castle is still gonna be up. I don't understand why he's not trying to kill all the camels. Obviously, he's denying that castle, but at the end, the castle yeah, will the be castle up and he's losing all the pikes. Lost. Yeah, exactly. So that was definitely better to fight against the camels. And uh, yeah, you just trade the. I mean, ACCM needs to trade his camels to finish this castle, but. In result, he finished the castle and still has decent, decent numbers of camels. So yeah. that's different. Uh, anyway, Doubt is uh, no in a very good position. He's doing the castle now in that one. His economy is amazing. Really, really amazing. He has almost 30 villains more than his opponent. He's on the way to Imperial. And ladies and gentlemen, I really believe that this might be the 2 1 and the series are not over. What do you think, Mr. Winchester? Yeah, I think it's gonna be 2 1. It's all depend on how many mistakes more Doubt will make, but I think it's hard. It's hard. SM made some cataphracts. Uh, he needed to go up an Imperial Age somehow, so maybe he would win the trap fight from the hill. But again, it's hard to predict when you just not. Watching the game on, he's losing villagers on the back. Oh, there is. Oh, of... he's getting raided. He's getting raided, and now ACCM noticed, but he's killing a lot. He's getting raided by doubt. This is definitely a really, really good counter because now the economy differences is starting to be insane. The canvas is still doing the job, but this oh, is so many bikes. And no. what? What is dying? Oh, okay, there is cataphracts on the bottom of doubt base. Yeah, there it's... was a big fight. It's yeah, but fine. I believe the castle is there. Only because of the cataphracts. It's only cataphracts. Like two, three cataphracts. They just got all the damage from the pikes, and that was really fortunate for ACCM. I'm not sure that he actually controlled it. Yeah, but, but you look, the villain is different, man. And Doubt is gonna be an Imperial in a moment. He just need to go Trebuchet and Halves, and, and what else? Mm -hmm. Nothing that's else. It. I mean, Traps, helps. that's fine. Until there is something else, and even who starts later. I know oh, and another now Krapos, I like it, yeah. Uh, that's a very good one. Obviously, we'll need more upgrades like Botkin. Botkin arrow will be a handed food only. Uh, okay, well, crazy game, uh, crazy game, uh, Mr. Mr. Winchester here. Yeah, and typical four legs with a lot of villagers yeah. on the back without walls almost. Oh, that okay. Wall of villagers, <laughs> so they cannot build. <laughs> okay. Anyway, still coming with more monks. Now he want to make what? What does ECM want to do with those villains, man? He really want to make a castle here. Yeah, oh, like... his face completely. But this is yeah. Imperial Age by doubt. Halberd the Arbrate, and with those units going with some traps and going halves. I mean, those units are really good. He's trying to wall because he see that his opponent is coming in. Man, he has too many units ACCMs, yes, but his opponent, Daud is in Imperial, and now, with some halberdiers, 
I mean, if he's hard, it should be okay. I mean, he can make another Krepos here, or even a castle. Uh, this mm -hmm. would be this would be impossible for, for ACCM to come back. Yeah, I think Doubt needs to build a castle in the middle of the map on this big hill because uh, it will help him to make some trebuchet on the forward and just take down the TCs and else this is a big hill helps him to, I mean, kind of ne ne neutralize the forward from ACCM as well. So the castle in the middle would be a really nice by Doubt. Okay, well, maybe he just, maybe in this area that he's attacking ACCM, why Doubt is not just doing a stone wall? Make a stone wall? He's doing a house, now uh, a stone wall that tile, or even a crepos there will be fine. Still, <laughs> there is a call. Yeah. Still attacking, and now uh, ACCM is on the way to Imperial, but his population is very low. What is he doing with those villages, ACCM in front? I don't know. Yeah, the castle is now going down, and uh, again, the strategy, man. But they are having execution issues, both players, honestly, in the whole series. Well, yeah, I think no, so. I think, I think so. they're nervous, man. Seriously. Mm -hmm. I, I feel that when the when the games are the most important, you see even more fun games, uh, Winchester. Because <laughs> it's true, man. Uh, some small mistakes make the games more interesting. I mean, seriously. Well, it depends on what we compare. GG! GG yeah. call! And doubt with an amazing Average APM of 49, Mr. Winchester. 49, <laughs> probably the slowest I have seen in a while. It still doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because decisions matters here and doubt is still there with the possibility to make the domination, Mr. Vinch. Yeah, and for like such a macro, uh, macro map, so this is exactly what he likes. And as you mentioned before, there will be else the hideout as one of the home map for ACCM, oh, which wow. is probably a favor for doubt. So maybe even in this series, we'll go for game five. It's all depend on what home map ACCM will pick right now. Pinchester, we have to go for the game five. You know, a game five between those two with 2 0 ahead ACCM, the hype, the hype is real, man. The hype is real, and you can see how in this one the economy was a brutal advantage for, for doubt. Let's go and check the draft and see that the two maps left are La Madness and Hideout now. So, oh, so oh. oh man, what we can see in those and what we are going to see, Mr. Vichita, where would you pick if you were ACCM right now? Uh, I don't know, it's all depend on what he thinks because he picked Mongols kind of early. I suppose it's not the Hideout civilization right so i think it must be mongols just because of his peaks it doesn't really matter that him is strong but it seems like if you pick mongol that early as your first pick uh you must be ready to play it somewhere right where else if not land madness right now okay 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 it's la madness man the next game is la madness la madness the execution has to be on point and what is gonna be here for doubt mayans or tatars Oof. I think, yeah, it's hard to say, but I think it's going to be, yeah, something Tatars or Mayans. And if you expect him to play Mongols or Hammer, that I would probably prefer, yeah, I would prefer Tatars against Hammer and Mayans against Mongols. So if he sees that he plays against Mongols, maybe he has some stuff with Mayans, try to drop the castle, go for Plume Archers against not the strongest knights in the game and uh, i think mayans in general is good counter to mongols because uh they're just faster they do all the same but they're faster same like game you had yesterday on nomad here against tato so okay, if some... you just yeah master so... plumes it's un okay. really hard to stop some small update guys uh, we have to to give some energy to mr doubt because doubt the lord played yesterday with some fever he was feeling yesterday worse than today. He is still not feeling 100%. I think you can feel it. You can see it when we see the, the camera. And he's also with some fever today as well. So big props to to Doubt for, for be playing, even being a little bit sick, you know? He's feeling better than yesterday, but it's still not 100%. So uh, let's see, man. The professional, these professional players, we have Khmer and Tatars. Khmer and Tatars, oh, Mr. Oh, that's really good for Doubt, I think. I mean, Khmer is really strong and they can snowball, but Tatars, such a nice sieve to counter the sieve like Khmer, because you have really strong, let's not even say CA, but crossbows, and you have the camels with good economy behind. And uh, you can really do the job against Khmer. It's going to be really hard to fight in Castle Age for Khmer. So it's all about the Feudal Age and ACCM a little bit on timer. He really needs to take a lot of advantage in Feudal Age.
Yeah, and this is my question here. Khmer Tatars, then the, if they a decided game with the civilizations they have can be epic. Burgundians and Poles, most likely, Mr. Winchester. Yeah, I mean, it's I mean, a no. really super fun matchup. I mean, Burgundians against Poles Poof. on hideout. It's going Poof. to be really hard to play for both. <laughs> For both, right? Like, what you do, right? What you do there? Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is about to start. This is about to start. Hopefully, this is going to be absolutely beautiful. Because I think it's going to be for sure. And, well, in what? How many seconds? In nothing. In one second. We are in the game right now. It is loading. And game number four. It's about to happen. Land Madness is an epic map, Mr. Winchester. It's really, really an epic map. And we are here. Yes. Game number four, guys. ACCM as a blue in the south. Doubt as a red in the north. With Doubt Wood. Not a single wood at the back. Not what you want. Doubt Wood is terrible, Winchester. Yeah, it's really bad. I mean, it's super far. And this this piles are small. Wow, this is really unfortunate. Yeah, that should happen. <laughs> I it's, mean, yeah, it's really it's, it's, ter it's terrible. It is really bad. You know, it is really bad. I mean, he has wood on the right, on the left, in front, but but no wood at all at the back. Wow. Uh, well, and he's scouting is not. I mean, yeah. it's huge unfortunate. He's only scouting the forward wood line, but you don't want to go there. And right now, I'm sure that he just has no idea where he will go with his wood. Yeah, yeah the, the, this generation is this generation is kind of. I mean, it's not a bug map, but uh, you know, like it's crazy. It's like he's missing resources, right? Because you see, and it's yeah, exactly. It, it's just really crazy that, that that generation, you know. Anyway, berries at the back, uh, wood on the right here, and uh, do you think this 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 is a potential admin re, uh, Mr. Winchester? Because I. I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm thinking about that. But, I mean, there's no bug resource. It's just a bad map. And that can happen, sadly. Well, um, my opinion that uh, the doubt map is okay. -ish. So if you just look at doubt map, this is like a bad map for sure. Maybe even close to admin re, etc. But the other thing that if you look at the ACCM map, this is like an amazing map because he has the wood line on the back. There is even more wood lines on the back. He can make a big wall, but he will just wall everything. And this is close to the edge of the map. So his map is just so good. And I mean, in, if you compare those two maps, then it can be admin re because the map for nah. one player is much better for them. For yeah, but player. well, but the, the, this is the, well, it's a strategy game. And it's uh, like random generation. You don't control those. It's very unfortunate. But it's still, it's not that he cannot win the, the, the game because of that. Because you can still wall those resources a little bit farther. There for doubt, but you can wall the map as well. And then it become about the decisions. What do you think doubt should do here? Archers, scout, what? Mm, yeah, as I said before, he needs to get it in the castle age, but I think with this map, it's not going to be the point. So I think he needs to use, uh, I don't even know what, just uh, probably um, something unexpected. And yeah, I like the fact that he's going on gold, so it's going to be men at arms or archers or something. So he don't need to make it the equal scout on scout game. He needs to force Khmer to do something unusual, to build their range themselves and just try I to get... I need to check, I mean, sorry, Winchester, this... this uh... This uh, map has two boards, right? Or is no, one? No, no, it's, it's it's only one. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's only one. I don't. I uh, yeah. I just got some uh, some question there, and I was like, I think it's only one one board. This map. Okay. Okay, that's that's it. Let's see. Both players are going up at the same time, and we see he's going for gold. Okay. Yeah, and this is not Man at Arms because he has no barrack. So it's going to be archers, I suppose. Okay, let's see. We're going to keep going. Okay. Yeah. Barrack. Kind of set. Okay. Yeah, this kind of set for doubt uh, because um, he's a little bit sloppy with the barrack. It seems like I'm sure that he's doing the wrong build order because right now he has a lot of food. Because he lured deers, he wanted to take them, just don't let them uh, just lay down there. He has not enough villagers on wood, this is only 6 villagers with only 1 lumber. Uh, Late barrack and uh, he won't have enough wood for even the second building, so... 
I mean, the start for him is just terrible. And maybe this is some point. I mean, his plan is broken at some point because of the wood placement. So this is a little bit unfortunate. So right now, I suppose he can try to get the boom only. I don't know. I'll just try to make a farm with double bit X with horse collar. Don't really build the arch range because he's making spear already. So but he can is... try to get it somehow passive and. Uh, ACCN? Yeah. Oh, no, for doubt. He can but they, ACCM is but... not doing anything. Now he's doing this table. Okay. Wanted to make the economy first. I mean, I wouldn't be I... afraid for, from doubt because seems his opponent seems his opponent has a. Uh, um, okay. Just a stable and the wood is like this. If you have some good spears at home and you go with archers, ACCM is going to need right away an archery range, I believe. Well, I think that was the point for ACCM. He just didn't want to go for scouts instantly. He wanted to adapt. So, yeah, why then he built the uh, stable? Hmm, I don't know. I thought that he wanted to adapt, so he was scouting a little bit and decided that, okay, if there will be a range, then I'll build a range myself. But it's not the case already, so I'm kind of... I don't know what is happening. Okay. Let's keep going. And then we have this table. Four... Four villages doing this table, okay. One, two, three farmers. Obviously, Khmer economy is really, really solid, but... Mm, that is this going to be a fast fine. castle? I mean, if there is... Uh, it can't be oh. a fast castle by the out. <laughs> and uh, against the scout, he can't really do that, because there is no range yet, and uh, he needs to wait ah. a lot. And then he, he's kind of jivated his opponent. He's not doing any upbraid. And then, just going for the fast castle. Eh, but then, yeah, if he's not doing fast castle, he needs to make the average right now. No double with ass, no horse collar, it's just terrible. No, that's fine. I mean, if you want to make it an all-in, then that's fine. And I'm not sure about the tower. He need to use his scout properly and try to find the range. Okay, there is a range right now, then tower is fine. But I don't like the fact that he's building tower before he sees range. Well, but yeah, doesn't matter. If he will have, uh, if he will has enough uh, resources, enough food to go up. No, but his echo is his echo is really good, man. Look at the food he has, the doubt. Because he's just doing the minimum. He's not even doing a single archer, but he cannot get damage. Well, I mean, he has a tower. Oh man, this is if he's going castle it right away. This is a masterpiece. You know, yeah, yeah, and I'm sure that he wants to go for Lancers. <laughs> otherwise, for Lancers? He would create, uh, oh, yeah, because or... otherwise he would create okay. some range unit, at least for the defense. Well, but you don't need the, you don't need those for defense. That you what you need against those three scouts is is the spears. Yeah, but the uh, the enemy range is following up, right? And how you defend the okay. wood line builds. So I mean, it just means that he's not going for a range unit. It's not going to be CA because they are too expensive. And I like the fact that ACCM is going for um, tower forward. This is insane, but, man. Yeah, this... I think it's going to be like stables, and he will go for some stable unit. He's insane. He idle in the TC, and ladies and gentlemen, doubt without doing a single unit is on the way to Castle Edge. People think that with a mad map you cannot win, and doubt want to show that this is everything is possible. I don't know if he's now gonna make a stable. We need to see a stable coming or what? He's now with five scout. He's up to Castle Edge in minute eleven, minute ten, fletching for ACCM. Obviously now doubt is in problem. He's sending the villains out of the wood. He's gonna come with the tower. I I think ACCM is reading the game really properly, but now with the wood he has here, Doubt is definitely in a very tricky situation. He needs to find another and another far from this area or just keep on the stragglers till he's in Castellage. One is stable? No. He's not going for lances, amigo. He's going for a second RT range. Do you like that decision oh. when you see that he has a scout and a skirmishes? Make a stable because if you make a couple of knights, you take everything. Yeah, maybe that's a good decision as well, because he don't have any food income. <laughs> yeah, I mean, his eco is just a joke. I mean, it can be not really okay. a successful yeah, but, 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 but you make a couple of nights. Seriously, a couple of nights. Anyway, he's trying to go. He has 40 seconds. He's going to make the second RT range. He's definitely... Okay, he cannot make that tower. Whoa, the fletching came in time. This is very good that he can stop that one. Anyway, um, when... Oh, and he lost his stone. No, he deleted. But that tower is not a problem for doubt. I mean, Hello. now what? Do you defend here or do you just try to go aggressive? Try to, to go raid? Oh, he wants to build a TC somewhere later. 
Uh, I don't know. You just need to mass the CA and later see where you can take a good fight. So you start with mass and CA, and I'm not sure that. Oh, and ACM will go for full feudal. He's doing upgrades for the scout. Okay, then even bo even better, a uh, stable will be lovely here. Obviously, those cap archers are going to be with Thumbrin, which is great. Mm -hmm. Now he's doing Botkin oh, arrow. Oh, he saved for Botkin, so Ooh. it's going to be a really all-in here. I mean, okay. I, I only saw it once from GL. I don't remember who played. Maybe Tato against the Viper, where... Ah, Viper played on past Red Bull, where on Frigid Lake, he was like zero villagers on foot, and they were just massing the CA. So probably this is like their old strat and it can work, let's see. How many how many cabarches you need together to make the damage? Because Geoth has spear, look at those. Now the scout will die against this. He's also with Thumbrin. The village for doubt is 26 only. Really 26 only. So he really needs to do damage. A lot of damage. And he's not defended at home. He has nothing to defend the woodland. Oh my god. Down. Yeah, that's bad. He needed Down. to wait for more speed. Not a spear. He's doing this strategy that is kind of crazy. His skirmishes were... I insist. I mean, I like the Kavarches option, but with Botkin and what he did, you make two, three nice here, and you're fine. Well, yeah, in general, you kill yeah. All. I, I mean, agree. You kill all. Anyway, the Kavarches are strong here. They are so many, but he's fighting his skirmishers. The skirmishers will die. He's doing now the bloodlines. He's going back, but you need some economy. You cannot win the game without doing any villager, or you can. I suppose they think that they can, and I agree with them. If uh, he will mass decent amount of cav archers oh against God. the feudal army, then he will just destroy well. everything. And the cool idea that CA with Botkin has more range than Skirms in feudal age, so he can really try to he can really try to take the Skirms out. And I don't like the fight ACCM took here. Yes, he killed some bills, but. Yeah, Doubt is out massing right now. If he'll get to the base Oof. and just start to snowball. I mean, ACCM doesn't know that Doubt don't make villagers because That's the score true. will be anyway fine because um, uh, because of the kills. So at some point, ACCM can think that it's But you GG. need to micro. Yeah, but he has to micro. He definitely has to micro. Yeah, absolutely. He doesn't know that he's not doing villages. He's coming out with the cap arches, as you can see, trying to kill, but you cannot lose with the skirmishers. Again, skirmishers need to go back. He's coming with more cap arches, still more army for doubt, which is crazy. Now the micro need to be on point. Anyway, uh, yeah, zero economy for doubt. Literally, only wood and gold. Ay, ay, ay. Mm -hmm. ay, ay, ay. But he's still coming with a lot of cap barges. And now, if he's just going away, he's taking the scout, and those cap barges are killing the gold miners. If he's winning this game, I don't know what to say. Oh, like, like, seriously. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't know. It, it will be a like madness re remember forever. But, well, he's still massing cap barges. But, zero is on gold. Um... More actually ranges you thin or it's fine with those two? I mean, uh, no, 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 he cannot afford more. Okay, but, uh, he's I, I, mean, power. I think at this point he can get like only two farms, like only one or two farms because you have the wood for this and just slowly but somehow you get more and more wills. Why not? Yeah, so. okay. Well, he's trying, keep trying with those cab arches, trying to go in around. I don't know if he's gonna think on doing a couple of farms, like you said. I mean, three, four farmers with the wood he has right now. It will help a lot, but he's chasing the skirmishers. That's crazy. Why the skirmishers, man? You need to kill Valiz, man. Yeah, I don't like the fact that he's I mean, not on the back of ACCM base. And he gives him time to build more towers because each tower ACCM build, it gives him a lot of, a lot of space. Okay, well, for now the Kavars is still there. He's losing more villages now. He's losing more villages because he's not attacking Doubt. He has Kavarches that he could raid all the farmers. I mean, ACCM base. Oh, oh my god, workshop. Siege Workshop forward. 20 villages, 16 army. He might now rams. Just rams, kill all the buildings. Uh -huh. Oh man, okay. Well, the Kavarches are there. Well, or, or a few scorpions even, whatever. I mean, anything he's doing. He's cast all his units, and now he see the TC. TC without anything, but the gold, man. The scout, please. Doubt. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, well oh, he's killing he's a lot in front, but the gold miners. On his gold. No. The gold miners. The gold miners, Doubt. You got the tower, man. Oh, man. No, no, no. Me, I'm yeah, on doubt. Ah, yeah, yeah. On doubt base. Yeah, this is what I wanted to say. <laughs> We're going to okay. be 14 villagers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On I'm, I'm checking. Oh. I'm checking there. 13 villages, 17 army. Coming with the siege workshop. He's still raiding. 
mean, the score is still obviously ahead for ACCM, how not? But ACCM is not mining gold. He's not mining gold. And this is my question, Vinci. He's doing farmers on doubt base, man. Seriously. <laughs> on doubt base. And now what? A ram. But please, you have to protect the siege. Don't leave the, the villager. Siege. You'll need to repair the ram. Don't leave the villager. Well, he's going away. Yeah, good point, man. Good point. Anyway, the gold miners going to be bye-bye. Still need a couple of farmers he's not doing. Not so many villages on gold. Start with the, the houses. Economy. SSM has house blocked. Start with the houses. Use your RAM. Don't lose Is any he using time the RAM? Is he using the RAM or not? He's not. Where he's going? Where he's going? Where he's going? Oh my god. <laughs> Leaving the RAM lonely. Where he's going? I don't know. He got the scout and the skirmishes. Those are cabarses, but without the plus one. And the, the RAM is just dancing. He's going to the disco, because, but not into the game. Okay. SSM is jumping into the RAM. Wow. Yeah, he'll okay. just take the ram. That's so and I insist. Two, three knights. That's it. You know? The knights here. Well, brutal. It's no but it's farms still... challenge. So yeah, yeah. Obviously, hard. now no farmers. <laughs> still going with the cab arches. The ram is gone. What about a ram and two scorpions? Because like this, then you can kill the skirmishers. No, no? you would even say, what about like five cavaliers plus four plus four and some upgrades for the cave archers, but <laughs> beyond 13 villagers only, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, the, the craziness here is that doubt is focusing more in skirmishes, you know? Just in well, skirmishes, yeah. which is, is crazy, you know? Anyway, well, doubt was trying a, a nice a strategy, an interesting strategy. I know that the map for doubt was bad, but he still did. You know, a, a, a kind of questionable execution. I don't know what you think. Uh, no, I mean, in general, why not? That was the plan, and I think besides all his plan, he did well. Maybe, uh, like you talked about, Lancers, Knights, etc., maybe it could work, but uh, in what he planned, he did everything right, I think. In the fast castle was almost perfect. He was able to do everything. He didn't make any archer. GG! GG call, guys! GG call! It didn't work, this strategy, and ACCM, with a very, very solid, solid performance here, took the Lord out of the tournament and uh, the thing is if you have a strategy prepared and you see that your map your map is that bad maybe you have to adapt mr Winchester. i think that was an adaption i mean as i said before I, I, his build order doesn't look like he wants to go for the fast castle so it seems like a bad start for doesn't really understandable what. So I think somewhere in Dark Age, when he realized to, uh, that he wants to send only six villagers on wood, he realized that he wants to go for the fast castle, but I think not earlier. If that was an intentional the strategy, then I think that was a bad decision here. Yeah. Still, I mean, that was uh, unusual, and I think the full feudal was not the best idea here from ACCM. Maybe he could lose the game at some point if... That could be a little bit better option for the outfit. But don't, 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 you think, don't, don't you think that if you really make a few knights is better, like double archery range and not having any any economy at home, uh, do you have to be insane with the micro to, to, to kill uh, to anyone that is going to go full feudal and also Khmer? Because you make a few towers as you were talking and it's so difficult, man, at this level to, that, to make this work, you know? Yeah, it's hard to snowball, so definitely you need to be with Fire Nico once to go for Fast Castle. I think the tower was a good decision from ACCM because he didn't let Doubt to, let's say, just camp on his wood line. Maybe market. He could build market earlier or try to build a tower on his wood line, save the wood line, or do something with that. I think that... Ah. It's just hard to say. Yeah, it's very hard. Hard. Anyway, let, let's check the. I'm checking the economy, and uh, what we're going to do right now is to jump into the uh, into the interview. I will be back to you. Let me just go for. Let's go Good. with the interview, and Nelson is going to be here with ACCM. Good afternoon, hey, ma'am. Good afternoon, chat, and good afternoon, ACCM. Or good evening for you in this case. ACCM, congratulations. Very well played, my friend. You're now in the quarterfinal to the Warlords. Really well played for you. ACCM, listen, um, I've been watching your career for such a long time. I remember you from the old Wubly days and watching you play so, so many times. You've now qualified for Red Bull last year. You've qualified for Red Bull this year. You've now beaten Doubt in a major tournament. Is this the best Age of Empires that you're playing in your life? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Being able to, to beat my idols 
it's really happy, you know, because um, when I I start start to play I of Empires, Dao is my idol for sure. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So doubt was it idle. That's got to yeah. feel so nice to actually beat him. Amazing. NCCM, I'm not going to take too much up of your time. I know it's pretty late for you. Uh, I guess I'm just going to concentrate maybe on game three for now. So that was at four lakes. You actually lost that game. Uh, that went for Bulgarians. You went for Byzantines. Castros felt like Byzantines was a better sieve in this matchup. What happened there for you? Yeah, a little bit unfortunate. But, uh, my good lies is um, forward, so it's uh, and I got a mistake uh, when building the tower, and then he deleted the tower, and then I ignore the tower, and I'm struggling with the good income. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't have any goods to uh, to make anything, so uh, I lost control this game, that game, so it should be over. It's just good strategy from that, right? Yeah, and moving yeah, yeah. on, right, awesome. Moving on to game four, Lead Madness. So that was Tatars against Skrmir. An amazing game, awesome game. ACCM, did you realize that Doubt was not making any villagers whatsoever when he got to Castle Age? And did you realize you only had to hold for as long as possible because at some point you would be able to kill him? Yeah, I know, I know. Because he don't... Uh... When I see his move on on up uh, his good villager, I know he he gonna be castellated soon. So, uh, just uh, putting aggressive and going aggressive, and uh, I need more productions at a lot of stable, and then scheme sir, my economy working, and he he don't have an economy, so um, I should win this game for sure. Mm -hmm. Awesome, ACCM. I'm about to let you go. I know you have a son. And I know he wants to play Age of Empires. You said this in a tweet. Does he watch yeah. your games? Did he watch your game today? Yeah, he know everyone. He know. <laughs> Apart he know, from you? He, he want me to, to, to take him to play, but I say, uh, you are too young. You, you need to uh, study first. And then uh, when, when I, I see uh, his study is okay, I'm going to take him to play Empires. Responsible father, ACCM, amazing man. I'm so happy for you. And I wish a lot of success for the rest of the tournament, my friend. Well done, well done. Mem, back to you, amigo.